Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a nature read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might feel enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the, ba the backbone to this channel. And I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah. Nature read. Because, you know, <laughs> we're in nature. Um, no real intention. Just, uh, I chose these cards. These were uh, MIA for a while. The Witch's Tarot. So, I found them and I thought, oh, let me do a reading with those and see what's going on for the collective. Right? I already pre-shuffled them. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started and see what comes out. This might go into part two. You know, I'm having issues with the uh, electronics, but, you know, it might happen, might not. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what kind of energy we have for whoever showed up to this reading, right? I'm trying to pull some energies. That's what we're doing here, okay? Pull on energy so we can get a nice story going. What do we have going on here for whoever is going to view this video? Queen of Swords. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She likes the truth, you know, so sitting in your power. You liking the truth, sitting in your power, right? Could be dealing uh, with a child or a younger individual or somebody who's immature, uh, emotionally immature. Page of Cups uh, it represents a child. You know, young person could be, teenager. <clears throat> this could be a family situation. Okay. What's this? Yeah, look, Ten of Cups. Happy family, happy home. So we have somebody here. Okay. It's looking good so far. You know, what's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Pentacles working on yourself. That looks good. So we have somebody here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's, you know, basically standing in their power, you know. Everything they do, they put thought to it, uh, you know, trying to make the right choices for what they need to for their family, right? Uh, could involve a child. Child could be very artistic, right? It looks like uh, that there's some happiness going on here. And, and, you know, on the side, possibly working on yourself, working on your craft. Maybe you've got a business. Happy family, happy home, you know? Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and... Um, See what's up with this Queen of Swords. This is the um, Theory 11 deck. It's the Hudson deck. <clears throat> so let's see uh, a little bit about this Queen of Swords. Looking good though. Shoot. What's going on with this Queen? Okay. Feeling in love. Yeah. That looks good. Wow. I hope there's no one. Because sometimes there is, okay? That sucks, but that's such is life, right? But let's see, right? Not feeling trapped, feeling in love, not feeling trapped, okay? This is about, um, so somebody here is in a marriage, okay, possibly, or in a happy family, happy home situation, all right? They're not being forced, no one's being, you know, controlled. There's love here. <clears throat> so far, that's what I see. That's pretty darn good. You know? What about this page of cups? And, and look, at the bottom of the deck, there was wish fulfillment. So somebody got what they wished for. Or somebody's going to get what they wished for. Something like that. Somebody may be manifesting a happy family, happy home. And there may be a child involved, okay? That's what I see. Page of cups, right? What about this page of cups right here? Somebody may have some cats or like cats. Look, two of swords. Somebody may have to make a decision uh, involving a child in regards to the happy family, happy home. Okay, so I don't see a counterpart for the queen of swords, right? So there's no husband, right? So there could be, or no mate, whatever. So it could be somebody meeting somebody who has a child already or children 
or children because as you can see this card has two uh children there we have this teenage one this is possibly this one and then we have this younger one okay baby okay uh, what else do we have for the page of cups here and this and this page the younger one the or the older child right if that's the case is very uh artistic right now if you're like watching this you're like i don't even have children i don't even this could be something involving something that you might have went through maybe you are an art artistic child right maybe you are uh, or you were i mean right this could re uh resonate as something from the past okay and there is still wish fulfillment here, right? You could also be a young person, Queen of Swords energy, who wants children, happy family, happy home, right? And it looks like if you make the proper decisions in whatever you're dealing with, you know, and then, you know, there's going to be an offer made to somebody, right? Now, whether the offer is accepted or rejected, I'm not sure, right? And it might be because somebody might have children. Maybe you're going to meet somebody who has children. That could also be a possibility here. You could meet somebody who has children. Or it could be a split uh, family type of situation where you have children and uh, they have children. Something like that. But I do see on the side, you are working on yourself. You know, that's, you know, maybe you're going to meet somebody while you're doing this because it kind of looks like <clears throat> you see it kind of looks like she's working in her own business or something like that where the outside people could come in. So maybe you might meet somebody. Somebody might come into your store. You might, you know, interact with somebody who's interested in your product or something like that. That's cool. Right. That's where that four of cups could come in because maybe, you know, you're selling things. You don't know if people are going to accept whatever you're selling or not. I feel something a little bit like that. So you could be like a business owner, somebody who's an entrepreneur or something like that, or you could know someone like that. And, uh, you know, possibly, you know, you've been doing this and now you're thinking, you know, it's time for me to have a happy family, happy home. It's time for me to get that together. You could be in that energy. And like I said, somebody could come into your path and uh, they might have children. So this could be an older person or you can also be older because a lot of women, you know, uh definitely uh working on career before family nowadays ten of cups tell me about that ten of cups ten of cups seven of swords all right so somebody might feel nervous also could uh be uh to have this situation because of some deception and that's why somebody's constantly working on themselves. This is an outcome. This could be an outcome, right? A possible outcome to anybody's story. Happy family, happy home. But somebody here is worried about deception. So somebody here is worried about getting into something serious because maybe they're worried about a cheater, liar, whatever. Maybe they somebody's been traumatized in the past by a bad relationship, like, you know, bad romance, like that Lady Gaga song, right? <laughs> yeah, look, you see that? Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. So that's telling me that somebody here is worried about uh, commitment because they had a past marriage or past commitment they were in that they basically got, you know, burned. You know, someone backstabbed them or deceived them, lied, cheated, uh, you know, gossip, whatever it was that hurt the other person. Uh, and this is why somebody is possibly unable to emotionally share themselves completely because they're worried about backstabbing energy. Maybe somebody, um, maybe there was a problem with, uh, oh, look, the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords again, right? So this is possibly the Queen of Swords who is feeling really guarded because she's had bad relationships, wants a happy family, happy home. Uh, I'm not sure if children are a factor here. Just maybe she doesn't, it doesn't matter to her, bother her, right? But uh, she's been hurt, right? And so it's hard to make choices for her when it comes to relationships. All right. So <clears throat> let's see what else we got going on here. What else do we have for the person who came to this video? What else do we have for the person who came to this video?
What else do we have for the person who came to this video? There's one. And there's two. This looks like a pretty darn good reading aside from uh, some sort of deception and possible past relationships. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, okay? Feeling defensive, feeling like you got to fight people or be defensive over something. Um, maybe you're dealing with the public. Maybe you got people bothering, right? Trollies or whatever, trolls trying to mess up your forward movement, possibly. We do have the Queen of Wands here, okay? So um, this is the uh, obstacle position or advice, okay? I kind of feel like it's advice. This is not an obstacle. She's in the upright. I kind of feel like your advice here is to stay passionate about whatever it is you're doing, right? <clears throat> Keep moving forward no matter how defensive you feel over a situation. Keep moving forward. That's what it's telling me here. And and keep and in in the end you will manifest whatever it is you want. <clears throat> because we have the magician here. You know what I'm saying? This is about manifesting whatever you want and this is the final outcome that you are going to get whatever it is that you wanted, right? Stay passionate though. Uh, keep your passions going. This is the advice. Don't slow down. Do not let others hold you back, right? There might be others that might be holding you back, bothering you, uh, holding you up. Um, you might even have to be just fighting to work even, I feel, fighting to get your thing off the ground, fighting to do whatever. I don't know. Um, but seven of wands here is you're still passionate and you don't care what anybody's doing. You're still going to do what you're going to do. And that's what this queen of wands is here too. Being passionate and continuing with whatever passions she has to continue her happiness for herself, right? Manifesting whatever it is she wants, which is possibly this 10 of cups up here. Tell me about the queen of wands now. Tell me about the queen of wands. Tell me about the queen of wands. She's got to make a decision though. We know that, right? Well, the Queen of Wands is going to make some sort of decision now. It could also be that something uh, crosses her path that has nothing to do with whatever passions she's going for or whatever she's trying to manifest. So that's why she could be trying to make a decision. Uh, okay, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. She's not willing to deal with any third-party situations. That's for sure. Okay, that we know this. Okay, we know this. And, and if she's passionate about something and she doesn't want to deal with a third-party situation, you can bet, because if she does have Queen of Swords energy, you can bet that she's going to be looking into shit. She's not going to just be like, oh, okay, and take your word, right? We have the Queen of, of Swords. She's in the upright still, right? She's still doing good. So this is her not wanting to deal with any kind of third parties, no outside source, no whatever, right? Um, see if anything else comes out for that Queen of Wands. So you, if you are watching this and you are resonating with this Queen of Swords about, you know, wanting a happy life, happy family, manifesting, doing your business, doing whatever, right? <clears throat> I do see here that um, just keep at, keep at it, right? Just keep at it. You're going to know if there's third party energy here. You, you might even put it out front to somebody that you're not trying to, you know... Now, it could also be, it could also be, well, it's in the reverse, so it's not celebrated. So we can't say, you know, you're not maybe okay. Okay. Remember we saw earlier here that deception in the marriage, it could be you don't have family support, friend support, right? People are trying to bring you down and not allow you to grow, personal growth. Something like that could be also. So this could be family and others you know trying to, you know, hold you back or maybe tell you you can't do that or whatever. But look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Pentacles, a star car. You could be a star. You could be a star. You could be healing. You could be like, you know what? No, I'm healed enough to know that I can do whatever I put my mindset to, right? <clears throat> what's well, a magician? Why is a magician there? Tell us what's going to be manifested uh, for, you know, following your own passion, right? Uh, okay, we have the Seven of Swords. This is also deception again, okay? So somebody might be trying to uh, deceive you when it comes to uh, your manifestations, 
oh shit ace of uh, swords at the at the bottom of the deck that's the truth okay so you might have somebody in your environment who might be um holding you back from manifesting properly there might be someone in your environment like that um we also have five of cups, which is mourning over the loss of a relationship. So also I see here, um, you, if, if, if there's no one around you doing this, you could be deceiving yourself because you're still, uh, sad about, um, the loss of a past relationship. Maybe you did have happy family, happy home at one time. And, but there was somebody in the family that deceived you or you got deceived in some way, fashion or form or whatever, right? And you're trying to manifest that again, but it's, it's hard for you to manifest that and go after your passions because you still remember the deception of the past about always having to be defensive over something. Uh, anything else? I have a few cards still holding in my hand. Any? Oh, yeah. Look, three of pentacles. So, yeah. And, and this is when you were working with us or others. You were trying to manifest something yourself. And, and they just, they came in and they deceived. They deceived you. And then you, that this relationship ended or some relationship ended. And it was because of others. Others were involved in your business, something like this. And this could also be family situation where, uh, family situation where um, family members got involved in your business and, you know, whatever, or uh, you were supposed to uh, help someone and they help you back in return. It didn't happen. It could be so many things. Okay. This is like, uh, you know, helping with the family stuff. Maybe somebody here did most of the work and the other person did not. Something like that. That could be another past uh issue that somebody has and why they're afraid to get into new relationships because of the ego give and take. But I do see here, see here essentially what's going on though is somebody is uh trying to manifest new, but they're worried, right? And they don't they don't want to feel trapped in anything anymore, right? They want to feel that sense of freedom, okay? So somebody doesn't want to be feel trapped in a relationship, I guess. Something like that. Right. And because, you know, there's just too many other people on the outside trying to poke their nose into everything. And that usually messes up relationships. You know, you got to keep your your personal stuff to yourself. All right. So this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. I'm just going to see what comes out. Maybe two cards I would like to get. Perseverance. You see, I knew it. And I had that in the back of my head because I keep looking at the advice uh, card. Right. One more time. There it is, renewal. Okay, so look, we got perseverance, which goes right here, which I know whoever came to this reading, uh, you know, keep going forward, right? Don't let people tell you shit. Don't t let them tell you, you know, oh, you can't do it or you're not good. Enough. Don't listen to that shit, right? Because you will have a renewal. I think just keep moving forward, follow your passions, keep trying to manifest whatever you want, and you're going to make it. So, this wasn't like a wah, wah, wah. It's basically like people around you saying that you can't do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Or or <clears throat> you could, you know, I for some or someone out there, somebody could be even threatened. You better stop doing it. Something like that. Um, but I feel that somebody might also be setting themselves free from any type of people, places, and things that are like that. You know, because that's kind of like threatening. That's kind of, yeah, you, you don't need to be around that. And I feel that once you remove yourself from this kind of energies and these kind of thoughts and stuff, you will have some sort of renewal. It's not going to be overnight. It's not, you know, going to happen quickly, but it will eventually happen if you focus on yourself and what you want in life. So if this resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, you guys, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, Sky Scope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.